And time now for our regular arts and culture segment, and we have our very own Yi Tae Ho joining us live in the studio. Good afternoon to you, Tae Ho. Good afternoon. So it's Wednesday, and we know what that means. It's a movie review time, exactly. preview time, that is, <laughs> and uh, for the upcoming weekend as well as uh, tomorrow's holiday. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a bunch of great movies coming out for the holiday tomorrow as well as the upcoming weekend. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to be good to watch this weekend. First up this week is the movie Tough as Iron, directed by Ang Won Tae. Follow the story of Kang Chol, played by Yoo Ah In, a famed street fighter in the beautiful port city of Busan. His life is going well until he finds out that his mother, played by the great Kim Hye Suk, has fallen ill, and his family lacks the funds to provide her with adequate medical care. To make the situation even worse, his old friend Jung Soo gives him up to gang leader Sang Won, played by Kim Jong Tae, to be recruited. Will Kang Chol fall into a life of crime in order to save the life of his mother? Find out in the brand new film Tough as Iron, which opens today. Next up is the movie Wish, directed by Lee Junik, who is famous for his previous works King and the Clown and Radio Star. The story follows Soon, played by Lee Di, whose name literally means Wish. When Soon becomes a victim of a horrid crime, her father Dong Hun, played by Seo Kyung Gu, and mother Mi Hee, played by Eum Ji Won, are faced with the decision of whether to pursue an investigation and put their precious daughter through the atrocities of that hateful crime all over again, or to just let the crime go unpunished. This is a heartwarming story about a shattered family struggling to overcome the harsh realities of having their young daughter victimized, which opens today as well. And the final movie opening today is the Hollywood film Prisoners, starring Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal. The movie was directed by French Canadian filmmaker Denis Villeneuve. Follow the story of Keller Dover, played by Hugh Jackman, who in desperation takes matters into his own hands when his six-year-old daughter Anna goes missing. Detective Loki, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, arrests the only possible suspect, Alex, only to find that the man has the IQ of a ten-year-old and is eventually released because of a lack of evidence. How far is a desperate father willing to go when his family's worst nightmare becomes reality? Find out in Prisoners, also opening today. And now that you know some great movies for the upcoming weekend, why don't we find out what else has been hot over the weekend at the box offices right here in Korea. Let's kick it off at number 5 this week with everybody's favorite closet monsters Mike and Sully during their college days in Monster University. Follow along to find out how the duo went from bitter rivals to best buds. At number 4 this week is the movie Runner Runner, which was released under the title Hidden Card here in Korea, starring Ben Affleck and Justin Timberlake. What would you do if an internet gambling tycoon offered you millions of dollars? Would you take him up on his offer? Find out in Runner Runner. At the 3 spot this week is the Korean action comedy The Spy, starring Seol Kyung-gu and Bun Sori. Follow Korea's top secret agent as he is faced with the decision to either protect his marriage or his country. The runner-up this week at number 2 is the thriller The Conjuring. The film is based on the true story of paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren as they race to rid a family of a demon that threatens to tear their lives apart. And the winner of the top spot at the box office here in Korea is the historical thriller The Face Reader. The film starring Song Kang-ho, Lee Jung-jae, and Kim Hye-soo is still going strong even after three weeks and is sure to be the blockbuster historical thriller of the year. The famed face reader Ne Kyung, played by Song Kang-ho, is caught up in a furious battle for the crown. Who will be the next king? Find out if you haven't already in the face reader. And those were your top five movies over the past weekend. Check back again next week on Wednesday for all the latest in the world of film. Well, you know, Teho, we've been talking about the face reader for the third straight week and this week, and I cannot believe it's still number one in the box office. You know, it's amazing, especially right here in Korea, because Korea is known for its rapidly changing trends, and it's really hard to maintain the top spot in any field, but it's even harder in the field of entertainment. Right, and, and it's, uh, it happens in Korea's traditional times, and we, we hope that um, to see this film reach global audiences as well. Well, I think we'll be getting that chance because right here in Korea, there has been over 8 million viewers already, and because of the success of historical dramas that have 
been going out overseas, I think we're likely to see this film go international as well. Right, uh, with a great director and marvelous actors and great plot, we know that that's where success of the movie comes from. So exactly. we'll have to wait and see how it does overseas as well. All right, Teo, thank you so much for today. We'll talk to you tomorrow. All right.